What is up, gang? Rachel Marie Sports here, back for the Woodward Sports Network. Tonight, we are actually taking this show in a little bit of a different direction as we still sit waiting in the football doldrums here. I took to Twitter with a few polls to put together the story of the state of the Detroit Lions franchise as you, the fans, see it. So we'll go ahead and roll right into the poll questions that I asked and how you answered to kind of get the bigger picture of how the fans see this franchise. The first question I asked you guys is, what is your confidence level in this new Lions regime moving forward? The options for answers were zero to 25%, 25 to 50%, 60 to 75% because I'm dumb and for some reason skipped right up to 60 so there was no option before 50 and 60 and then 75 to 100%. You guys answered as follows, 9% of you said 0 to 25%, 18% of you said 25 to 50%, 36% of you said 60 to 75%, and 37% of you, just nudging out the 36%, said 75 to 100%. I am kind of with you guys there in the 60 to 75% range. And I did pull some tweets um, because I did ask for people in the comments to kind of explain their answers. And I liked some of these tweets and wanted to share them with you guys. At Field GS, Luke G's Field Review. If you guys haven't checked him out on YouTube, definitely do so said, I am very confident in this new squad as a whole. It bleeds accountability and leadership top to bottom. This should spread across to the players and the fans. Then we have at Cody Salyer 5 Manpower, who said, with so many former players as coaches, they know what it takes to win, and I look for situational football to be much better. Young, energetic coaches allowing fun in the locker room again. We're going to see the best come out of the players. So I can see where you guys kind of stand with this. Overall, more than half of this fan base is over 50% confident moving forward with this new Lions regime. My next poll question was to ask you guys, what gives you that confidence that you said you have in moving forward? The options for answers here were the front office, the coaching staff, new roster additions, and a combo of the above or other. Now, the smallest amount of you, only 1% said new roster additions. Totally hear you on that. And then 24% of you said the coaching staff, when just a little bit above that, 26% of you said the front office, but 49% of you said it was a combo of the above or other. And as with the last poll, I did pull a few of my favorite tweet answers explaining which option that you chose. Ed Chisholm 19, I hope I pronounced that correctly, said, our front office just beats out coaching staff for me. Just horrible ownership and GM moves and drafts have kept the Lions losing going. Just brutal, go Lions. Then we have at silver underscore rush 67, Corey Legro, who says, Culture, Spielman, Holmes, and Campbell have woke the Fords up along with Rodwood. I truly believe they're doing it right finally in the Lions front office. And then we have at Bobby430761, who said, They are putting things in place, but still, we'll see what September and October look like. A little bit of a more realistic approach, and I see that, I hear you, Bobby. Only fair to point out as well that at Fergzilla said, I have no confidence. And I said, all answers are valid. Waiting to see the product on the field? To which he responded, yep, and to be honest, it will probably take more than one productive season. So, seems like we're still a little bit split, but overall, still more than half of the fan base is saying that they are confident because of a combination of the front office moves and changes in the coaching staff. The third and final poll question that I asked you guys and you answered was, how long, based on your answers to the previous two questions, do you think that it will take for this new Lions regime to get where they're going, i.e. success? 
The answers or the options to answer these questions were, they will shock us in one year, two years, it's on, three years to build up, or four years, slow grow. 18% of you said that they will shock us year one, 47% of you said two years, it's on, 29% of you said three years to build up, and 6% of you said four plus years, slow grow. Once again, here are some tweets backing those answers. At Wild Boar CJD Cancun Ted says, I think in two years we'll know what we've got. I had serious concerns about Patricia after two years, and then after two years and six games, I knew he had to go. I was all for the Lions giving him that third year to prove my doubts wrong, though. I am with you there, regretfully. <laughs> then we have at Dash Kubri69 Big Ferb, who says, Remember when Bill Lambier took the Detroit Shock from worst to first in his first year coaching them? It can happen with the Lions too. I like the optimism. And last but not least, we have at Tyler Roke, Tyler's take. I feel like we'll have a good foundation after two years. Should tell us our trajectory. So it seems like two years was obviously the most popular opinion. And once again, I agree with you guys there. It's kind of crazy to see this Lions fan base almost, not quite, but almost all on the same page for once. And what I am happy to report is that there was not a lot of SOL, same old Lions fans in the comments. It does seem like the front office changes, the new coaching staff, and just generally the direction of this team is being seen in a positive light by the fans. So let's keep sipping that Kool-Aid, guys. Just sipping, not chugging yet. Sipping. <laughs> If you want to get more fired up for this Detroit Lions season, be sure that you're following along with the Woodward Sports Network on all forms of social media and make sure that you're catching some of their shows. They have a lot of great things to talk about. Also make sure that you're interacting with me on Twitter. The tag there is at Sports. If you didn't get a chance to answer the questions in these polls, please let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, one pride.